Uh, what's up, everybody? This is uh, the 2022 Lexus RX F Sport. And next to it is the 2023 RX 500 HF Sport Performance. And uh, a lot of people, you know, over the years have said they would like to see more power with the F Sport brand. And obviously, they've diversified that into an F Sport portfolio. Um, you know, there's a, the appearance package, there's the actual handling and um, performance, which is the top of the line before you get to a full blown F model. And I haven't, obviously, nobody's driven this car yet, but. Uh, for the first time, I'm excited to say I cannot wait to drive uh, an RX. You know, we've had every generation in our family. My wife's favorite, I think, Lexus vehicle. And I'm going to show you one big reason why I'm excited. This is a normal RX brake, which is very similar, if not the same, as the ES brake, which honestly are, are pedestrian. They're perfectly fine for around town, perfectly for, for most normal conditions. Look at the brake on the 2023. It is a massive six piston, two piece brake, Michelin Pilot Sport tires. That just lets you know, those are two of the most important components when you're driving a car as you all know, or if you don't know. So I am just super excited to see just how much of a difference this drives. The, the wheelbase is expended um, as well. Obviously, this is the most powerful RX in history, 367 peak horsepower. Um, I think 409 pounds of torque, peak torque, which is a tremendous amount more, I believe over 100 more than what this vehicle makes. And trust me, we had this, you know I've modified it, you guys have watched the video. It never, it all drives okay, but it just is not, you know, oh, I can't wait to get behind RX and drive. Kind of like a GS, I would say, or IS 500 for sure. So I'm really excited that I have a feeling that's how this is going to drive. And I haven't even talked about a direct four. So this has a pretty traditional front wheel bias, uh, all wheel drive system, which is perfectly fine again, perfectly fine in mo for most people. But this has this new di trick direct four system. So behind each wheel, there's this electric motor that's just, I have a feeling that's gonna <laughs> add so much dynamite to this vehicle. Um, so it's been a couple of days, right? Um, obviously, I think the, the biggest thing people have talked about is the nose on the, the RX. And I, look, you know, guy, y'all know I'm honest. I told Lexus the same. I say, ah, nose is a little funky to me. I'm not sure how I feel about it. They've told me they think it's going to grow on me. And you know how cars are. I, 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 might not, I don't deny that. It's still a little funky to me. So pretty sure we're going to order black or graphite. It is still a spindle, y'all. It's just a different interpretation of spindle. And Lexus has always said that. So you can see it does start here. It's just as color coded and then it turns into the normal spindle you kind of see here. Whereas the previous RX has, at this point, the trademark spindle that we all love or hate, which is obviously one big unit. Um, you can also see the side by side. This was the most exciting RX. But just look at, to me, how much more substantial uh, the lines are on this car. I mean, it's, it's wider. If you look at the specs and compare them, it has very similar lines, but more mature to me, just more sporty, uh, more elegant to me. And I love the full length LED bar. I think they call that the, uh, the, ooh, the blade, that's his blade. So I can't wait to see, uh, it's distinct. It, there's no mistaking that that's the newer model, even though obviously the window trim is a similar. Notice here too, chrome trim. Uh, black chrome. I'll get a little closer for you all. And Lexus has moved to that. IS500 has this as well. My Inspiration Series has it on my front grille. So it's great to see that move to that nice dark chrome and adds a sportier look. Also note, the rear roof is black here, full panel. I'm sure that's a pretty loaded model. And it's silver here, full panel. And the biggest difference, I'm gonna to go to this interior. We love this interior. We had the Riara Red as well. And um, I loved how they had the aluminum and it wasn't just a flat panel, it was a 3D panel, which is fantastic. And I'm gonna, uh, it's a little blurry because there's no, not much light here. 
Now, while to me this was a substantial jump over the previous RX, um, to me you never, you could tell it was related to something else, which it is, right? The Camry, Avalon, Highlander, etc. This is the first RX that I've ever jumped in. And I was just like, so it has the same door handle as the NX, so you just pull. And this feels more like Cabernet. And look at the seat. It reminds me of the LC Touring seat. And it has suede, so, and you see the stitching. I'm, I'm trying to answer some of your questions. Yes, there's red stitching here uh, that I've seen online. And the steering wheel and everything just has a much weightier and more upscale feel. And obviously the price is gonna go up. I don't know what the price is yet. But the door, when I pulled the door, I was like, oh wow, this feels much more uh, aligned with like a GS or I, uh, LS to me than a uh, Highlander or Camry. So even the back seat has suede USB C's back there. Yada yada. And let me open the cargo, see what that looks like. So this is the 2023 LED lighting, tons of room for an RX. And uh, I do not know the dimensions exactly, but it looks very similar. I'm sure it's slightly bigger as all things are. Let me try to get this opened, unless they locked it. Let's see if I can open it up. Oh, it's not opening, let me see uh, if I remember. Oh, the rear's not opening. Sorry, y'all. It is locked somehow. Yeah, sorry, y'all. So, yeah, seven minutes in. Um, hope you got to enjoy a good comparison between the previous generation. Uh, the RX, as you know, started this category, car-based luxury SUVs, CUVs. Uh, some people, I had an argument with a guy on Facebook before. He did not understand the concept. The Mercedes ML at the time was a body on frame. So it's still truck-based compared to this, which was car-based, and just changed the game, obviously. The most popular line of uh, best-selling vehicle for any brand is oh, it's, it's a CUV of some sort. Um, so yeah, super excited to get behind the wheel of one of these. <laughs> Again, I can't believe I'm sitting at about an RX. And uh, hit me up with any questions. I will try my best to answer and help you all. Thank you, Lexus. Uh, again, for the hospitality.